Good kid, Nintuna. Apparently, I'm a masochist because I'm going to continue. Um, I'm only going to do one more of these tonight, though, because I need to go to bed early because I have a therapist appointment tomorrow. So, um, think about who we have left in the villains realm, and I'll let you know we have two battles left until we have the end game. Uh, the uh, end game plot, that is. So, who do you think is laying up ahead? It is somebody we've seen before. It might not be who you're thinking about. Oh. Hold on a moment. Alright, I'm back. I forgot to update the uh, spreadsheet up above my head. I'm gonna have to copy and paste this somewhere else because I haven't edited the previous video yet. Since I had to edit it, I was just going to start the edit and let it run overnight type of thing. Um, also, I need to head all the way back so I can repair, because while good old Creed acts as a priest, he doesn't act as an item shop repair person. So we have to go all the way back to Yil. Or, I guess technically Gallum's actually closer than Yil. Whatever. We still have to go back to Grands. And yes, it is a quick exit. Zone Kitty's being a little wily, so you may, uh, depending on his vocal range, you may end up hearing him cry out a bunch. Um, he, I don't know why, he almost seems like he's getting lost, except I know he's not. He's trying to find me by using his voice, basically. And he's also playing right now. Right, you are playing and not trying to eat something? Oh, some Velcro. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and repair. Uh, none of those things are broken, right? Oh, that's right. Who in the world am I going to give that holy staff to? Because it doesn't belong on Bowie for sure. Goddess staff needs repair. Yes, that's a huge amount of money to repair, but that's fine. Uh, wasn't there something else that needed repair? No, it was just goddess staff. Okay. All right. Oh. Give. What does the holy staff do anyway? It was. Isn't that the one that um, heals two hit points every step? It's not exactly a great weapon for me at this point. Um, I don't care. You know what, Elric, you're holding on to the Holy Staff now. Oh, I should check the deals section before I do anything else. Make sure that nothing else that I care about is in here. Not really, no. In theory, the rings could be useful. Like, the evil ring can actually be used in combat for Blaze 3, I'd say. But I really don't need it at this point. Uh, might as well spend some money on some healing items while we're here. No, not herb. Nobody needs herb at the end of the game. I'm just going to make sure everybody has healing items. Actually, wait, before I do that, I'm going to divvy out that freaking holy wa or healing water already. Uh, let's see, is there anything left in here that I care about? Yes. Bowie, you can get a healing water. Um, next person with a healing water should probably be Kiwi. I'm going to use the Brave Apples as well, but I'm just going to throw them on Kazin. <sighs> what the heck is with my cats tonight? Um, not Drive. Depot. I don't need that Force Sword. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've ever shown you what the identify uh, the appraisal thing does. So, it's a weapon. It has no effect in battle. 
The four sword is for nobody so far. Huh, interesting. You can't sell it at the shop. It'll tell you who you can actually have things equipped with. Um, so for an example. Um, Holy Staff. Look at the Holy Staff. It is a weapon. It has no effect in battle. Holy Staff is for Road Rick to equip. So it'll actually tell you which characters can equip it, which is nice. It's two-thirds value at a shop, roughly. I think it's a little over two-thirds. Yeah, because its value is 9,000. Anyway, um... As I was doing, let's pass out more holy water. Or healing water. Um, let's see, I'm getting it to the characters who have the highest amount of hit points. So Luke would be the next at 99 hit points. Then Janet at 91, or, well, Rick doesn't really need it, neither does Jaha. I'll give it to Janet. Janet's much more likely to actually need it. Although Janet has a very full inventory, doesn't she? Yeah, Janet doesn't have space for it. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess I will end up giving it to Road. Did I seriously write Road's hit points right? Road really is... Yeah, Road really has 97 hit points now. Holy crap. I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, go ahead and give it to Road, because Road doesn't have a good way of healing, like, a single target. Um, we also have Holy Thunder, which is on the correct character, so that's fine. Uh, Kazin's holding on to think. We need to actually use the freaking quick chicken. Okay. Who needs agility? Road. Road needs agility. I'm just gonna use it right now, regardless of how crappy the stat up is. Road. Eat some chicken. Three. That's fine. Okay. We need to figure out who's gonna use the brave apples. We've got two of them. making sure that that's all of our brave apples. Looks that way. Okay. So. What brave apple does is it allows you to level up. I'm pretty sure I've shown you this before. So I've, there's a couple of theories as to what you can do with brave apples. I could bring May up to level 25 like the rest of the force. But keep in mind that May is going to be leveling up a lot faster than the rest of the force right now. I can use this to level up a force member that may be lacking in stats, but not necessarily lacking in level. For instance, Bowie. Um, leveling him up to level 28 is not a terrible idea. Uh, alternately, I can give it to the highest level force member and just see what happens when Jaha gets two extra levels. Um, or... Kiwi gets two extra levels, or Road gets two extra levels. Wow, Road's higher level than Kiwi already. That didn't take long. Although, Road's defense is terrible. It's as bad as Bowie's. Uh, actually, that is a good point. Oh, no, that's right. I can't equip the White Ring on anybody but Vickers, because uh, Bowie's not a hero in this. Got it. Okay. Um... going to heal, uh, fill healing drops for everybody else. You don't need to watch this. I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. I just filled up everybody's inventory with healing drops. Came up here to save, and it's time to use those brave apples. Um, I think what I'm going to do is use them on Bowie. Which is a shame, because it's not like Bowie's going to gain any extra spells from this. I kind of want to use them on one of my spellcasters to get more spells. Actually, yeah, I'm going to use them on Road. 
P2, MP1, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 1. Oh, and if you're curious, that's the reason why some of my characters had like one XP at the end is that I used a Brave Apple or Brave Apple equivalent in combat in order to do that. Road 31, HP 2, MP 2, Attack 2, Defense 1, Agility 2, No Spells. Suck. Oh well. Um, so Road is now 31. And might as well get his stats. Oh wait, before I do that, I need to copy. Just make a copy, that's fine. Now 31, okay. I want to make sure I can copy and paste it for the previous video, so I don't have to type all of this out. Um, oh yeah, I should actually get his stats into the spreadsheet. Uh, wait. Oh, that's right. HP is going to look off, because when I go in here, you can actually see his real HP. He has 101 HP. Good job, Road. He is the fourth member of my party to hit 100 on a stat, I think. Admittedly, I have a character with 300s, but, you know, whatever. Uh, 75. 53. 63. Well, he no longer has the lowest agility in the party. That's now Randolph. In fact, Randolph should probably be the... Oh, that's right. Randolph has five movement. That's why. Okay. I was going to say, Randolph should probably be the one with the agility up, but then his movement drops, and that's not good. Okay. Um, what else do I want to do before going in? I think that's it. So, have you figured out who the person that we're going to be encountering next is? Again, I gave you a hint. We've seen this person before. We've never fought them. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I have to go through here first. Do, 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 do. This should look familiar. Because it's the uh, sequence in the tower. We used to go through that way, but that way is um, very blocked now. And this is the area that we encountered. I can't see. Is anyone there? <laughs> Welcome! King Ganem? It's the last place we saw him. Is it too dark? Let there be light! Is that better? Uh, King Gollum! Ooh, Princess Ellis is in here. Or is here. Yep, Princess Ellis is here. Nice to see you again, Astral. I see lemons with you. Where's Zeon? He has not revived fully yet. So I came to welcome you for him. She isn't moving. Is she dead? Uh, we haven't killed her yet. She will be the first sacrifice for King Zeon. What? Zeon said you'd return her in exchange for the jewel. Ha <laughs> ha he lied. You killed our greater devils. I can't allow this to go on. You shall never see Zeon. I'll kill you before that. <laughs> so, yep. Remember way back that um, King Gallum and Sir Astral were on par with each other. They both knocked each other out. Let's take a look to see what we have to fight. We have Horsemen. It's the last archer unit in the game. They're not very hard to kill. They have a lot of attack, though. As usual, Reapers are now a normal enemy, which sucks because Mub was freaking annoying. We have a new enemy, Evil Beasts. I think they're palette-swapped cockatrices. Anyway, very high attack, moderate defense. Oh, and their movement's six, just because. Uh, you notice it's a very small map. Oh yeah, we have... Devil Griffins, which are the flying, yeah, they're, none of these enemies are really that challenging other than them all having stupid high attack. And then there's Gallum. 
He has 180 MP with no spells. So you'll notice, and you may have noticed that Odd Eye had MP with no spells also. That would be because Odd Eye had a special attack and it didn't actually use MP. I don't know why they gave him MP. Um, Gallum has the same, or King Gallum has the same situation. He has a special attack. He's also using the Demon Rod, which is that uh, cursed weapon that we had earlier. Uh, only. <laughs> Enemies don't get cursed. Main thing to note here is that King Gallum is probably the weakest enemy of the group. So 126 attack. For reference, 128 attack on the Reaper. And only like one extra defense or something like that? Yeah. The main difference is that King Gallum gets to go twice, because of course he does. He's a boss. Uh, evil beasts and the um, flying units are the bigger threats to us. Not that the Demon Master over here isn't a threat. And we still have only one healer, which is good. Really don't want to fight multiple healers. But now, those tile areas are actually blocking. Which means that this horseman is actually in a great position. Grumble, grumble. So, let's go ahead and start with our typical spell. Uh, who do I want to exclude? Yeah, I'll go like that. Feels bad to exclude May, though. Hey, look, more level up. So, Jaha is now level 33 point something. Point four four. He has 100 defense with boost. Nice. At 125 agility, that means that his agility is now broken 100. Uh, his hit points have not, though. He only st has 200% things. So, yeah. This is the problem, is that this area is not very conducive for us spreading out. We can go left and right. We cannot go straight. That's fine. You can't go straight normally, anyway. He has 100 in multiple stats. In three separate stats now. What the hell? What the hell, Kiwi? Just what the hell? That This is very abnormal, even for a Master Monk. Just gonna deal some damage, weak a little bit. Luke's level 27. HP 2, MP 2. Attack 1, Defense 2, Agility 2. None of that really matters, but sure. Janet, you go over there. Can I actually finish you off? Maybe. Nope. This was a mistake! Not really. I can just kill them this way. One, two, three, four, yeah. I would really prefer May to do that. I don't know if May's gonna get a chance. So I will save state just in case. Um, King Gallum's already going. As to be expected. Uh, it's a level up for Rick as well. I forgot to write down um, Luke's level up. So Luke is at 27.1, Rick is now at 28.08. Okay, so I still want May to be the one to take it. I don't know if that's going to be viable, but I want that to happen. That's what I was hoping for. I think I hit for 16, so I'm fine. That's because all of this is land of effect 15%. Because, you know, I can't. Okay, good. May? Please kill that 
horseman before it gets a chance to attack. I thank you very much. May needs the XP back. He's so low level by comparison. So that's now 23.59. He's still by far the lowest member of the party, but that's okay. We're working on it. Reaper got bonked. We're going to attack Bowie. Bowie should be able to take one hit. And is stunned. That's not great, but I can heal Bowie. It's okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use two healers to do it. Because. Because. Just because. I'm intentionally just boosting May. Because she needs it. Um... Just heal Bowie, please. He needs healing badly. Luke! Luke, my friend! You need to detox too, Bowie. Because that's your role now. You're a healer! You're a healer! Tyrin, go snip snip. Snip. XP. Um, yeah, it's probably better to take out the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. Because I don't. Chester's 26, HP 1, attack 1, good. Defense and agility 2, though. That part's nice. Um, 26.3. Chester. Lane. Go ahead and finish off the Chaos Warrior. Actually, no. Slade, don't finish off the Chaos Warrior. May can finish off the Chaos Warrior. They're not that far. They're not that far. Uh... Okay, the Screaming Souls of the Damned are 30%. Good to know. But we just move back one. That's fine. We actually don't need that many more hit points now. Let's just do a heal too. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah, I should probably mention that Road is definitely hit points. I mean, just... Uh... Excel, why are you crashing? Accessing printer, what the hell? Hit control B. Whatever. Deal with it later. It autosaves, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Randolph is just going to stand there. That way it doesn't get to move out of the way. In case if May misses. Or it doesn't kill him. I'm pretty sure May has enough damage. Maybe team level 24, HP 2, attack 1, defense 2, agility 1. Ah, you recovered. That's nice. So anyway. Oh, now we get to see the evil beast. I think this is actually the only time we get to see that particular creature. Like, there's no pellet swaps or anything. It's just the only one. And it hits like a Rock. Oh yeah, did you notice Gallum's hit point bar? Notice that it's blue? Um, what was I doing? Oh, May. May is 24.08 now. And I was bolding. Yeah, I did bold roads. Okay, okay. So now May's only one level behind everybody. That's easier. 
Freeze, sucker! Hello, Zone. Do you want to be in this video? 1 XP. Told you, it's gonna be the final boss before I can actually get any more XP. Can Kiwi get any XP? Can Kiwi kill it, but, you know. Yes, Kiwi actually does get XP from it. Interesting. I'm not going to have Kiwi do that. I'm just really curious. Um, Kiwi... You're actually pretty good there. Mm, boost is expiring. That's not so great. Luke, sit there. Oh, Luke has three-digit hit points. I just now noticed. Chester can go there. Tyrion can go there. I want May to kill. I, I want May to get as much XP as possible, basically. Or one on self go. You can just stay put. May. Time for you to go a snip snip. Snip. Oh, it lived. Heal up Randolph because Randolph's going to take another hit for sure. Randolph might just kill it. Randolph is in Greenland. Uh, Slate's also in Greenland. Let's just have Slate kill it. It'll be fine. I definitely prefer May killing it, but that's okay. HP XP. HP 2. Attack 1. Defense 2. Agility 1. See what I mean by this is a really small area? I mean, we're already activating the boss, and uh, we've been fighting for 10 minutes. Okay, maybe this could be a one part episode. No, I'm just gonna end this one early instead. That's fine. Callum wants to come down and play. I'm willing to do it. More concerned about everybody around Gallum. See, this is what I mean. Demon Breath! 34 damage. Demon Breath is a very powerful attack spell, which actually has me concerned that Randolph might be dead now. Nope, Randolph's alive. Barely. Kiwi may need to do a heal four on Randolph. Oh, I didn't realize I was in range. Oh well. Slaves can take the hit. Barely. Oh, Slave can barely take two hits, I should say. Alright, we've got a situation. I had one more range. I can get slightly closer. I might have to use Bolt 3, but I'm gonna use Bolt 3. Jaha! We'll actually get XP from this, I think! I think Gallum's actually one of the few enemies in the game that give XP up really high. Nope, never mind. Right. Magic. Heal for Randolph. Randolph, we want you to live, please. Thank you. 71 hit points. Be a really short episode. Could deal with those two goobers. Or I could just go after Gallum at this point. I am high enough level where I am perfectly fine with saying, oh, screw it. Although I think I'm going to take out the Reaper first. Don't want to deal with more of those goobers. Chester. Okay, what's the range of you? You're a six, right? Five, six. Okay. That's a problem. Y 
yeah, Chester's going to be in danger if I go near. And he definitely doesn't have the hit points to handle that. Road. Um... Boost? Or I can aura two and actually heal. Boost. I know I'm getting packed, closely packed for effects, but don't have much of a choice. Six. Gallum's really a pushover. It's just the fact that um, has gobs of hit points. That's all. And gets to go twice. Yo, Slade back up. Now, Slade has really garbage hit points, but it's doing great in every other way. That's just asking for trouble. Really, using Bowie at this point is just asking for trouble. It's unfortunate. Yep, everybody's waiting now. Hit the horseman back. You have two more hit points than the horseman, and you hit harder. Although not that much harder, actually. I think the horseman might actually hit you harder. has hit points. It's a very pretty sprite if I do say so myself. 31 damage. Pfft. I can heal that with a single heal three. Yep, you're busy fighting Slade. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, you're doing two more damage to Slade than Slade's doing to you. Now I'm in trouble over there, though. Because now uh, your movement is six. Yep. All three of them can attack Slade now. Uh... Yep. Claws. Claws. Yep. Hit me right back. Go right ahead. That time I got hit for more. And a double attack. Interesting. Yep. And that's the problem with fighting because of the stupid aura. I mean, it's only 37 hit points on Gallum. I can do more than that in a single attack, but it's still dumb. This is where having mages is great. As in mages that can actually do much. Wait, punching would have done more. Ah, uh, derp. Oh, uh, you have eight MP. Can you even do anything at eight? You can cast Bolt One. Or, you know, you can do that. Critical hit. Oh, wait, a crit? Not a cutoff? I didn't think that was possible. Unless if that's immune to instant death, which is possible. Alright. I've got about enough out of you goobers. Bolt 3, centered there. Hit everybody. Ah, Gallum's actually resistant to magic. Good to know. I mean, I guess that makes sense. He's a mage. Not resistant to that, though.
just start shooting him. He's down into two digit hit points. Road. We need healing. We need a lot of healing. Unfortunately, you can just provide a large area of healing. Yeah, that'll hit everybody who needs healing. Level 32, HP 1, MP 1, Attack 2, Defense 2, Agility 1. Still no Aura 3. Dang it. Whole reason why I was doing it this way. Poke Gallum in the face. You're going to attack Janet? You're not very smart, are you? We would have done way more damage casting spells, but, you know, too late. Poke Gallum in the face again. Well, down to low hit points. I can finish off Gallum with Bowie. This is going to be the quickest video I've done in a long time. I'm not going to attack. I'm going to use magic because that's guaranteed to hit. And even when Gallum's resistant to fire, this is still more than enough damage. Well, it's not actually resistant to fire. It's only resistant to lightning. Interesting. But well, we got 49 XP and 999 gold points. Uh, Gallum did not drop the staff. Uh, yeah. Never lost anybody but the gods. You lost the astral earlier. I don't understand. Oh, King Gallum. Poor King Gallum. Princess Alice. So sleepy. She's waking up. Ugh. Princess? Princess! Wha- what? It's me, Astral. Sir Astral? Oh, what- oh, sorry. Sir Astral? Oh, what happened? Huh? Who are they? Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Peter, and this is our leader. Oh, he say something. Oh, it's you. Uh, um, uh, um, 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 um. Peter, don't bother them. This is a private moment. An earthquake deep below us. And this is the point that we're stopping. Because if I go any further, we're going to get into the final battle. And yes, this is two battles in a row. I can technically egress from this battle, but I'm not gonna. Hope you've enjoyed that, Internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Where'd my mouse go? There we go. Bye!